All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Makakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings be unto the whole for elect, believing in this gospel and truth and sincerity. You know, so, um, just, just came to my, uh, just came to thought, you know, what I wanted to do a lesson, I was just thinking, and pretty much is that, um, no, the, the, her light is going to be put out, which her is speaking of America, Babylon, the Great. All right, because, you know, um, you still got this uh, this illusion, all right, that everything is uh, uh, is continuing on as it was before, man. But as we can see, all right, this place is not going back to normal, you know. You know I was just uh, watching a couple of videos from brothers, you know, and I was seeing uh, you got major things happening happening in the world right now, all right, that that will uh, that will uh, more more than likely cause things to uh, escalate, man. You see what you see what these people once new as normal, all right, it's far gone, man, you see, once the C19 thing hit, all right, that was the end of, uh, so to speak, that was the end of, all right, your society, man, all right, because the elite, all right, ain't, ain't backing up from the C19 thing, all right, and, and, and also, mainly, this is mainly the, all right, the beginning of, you know, the Lord's uh, entrance, so to speak, man, you see, the Lord's getting ready to judge, or the Lord's getting ready to bring these plagues, man, and he's using Esau to do it. All right, this is Romans 3 and 3. And they say, For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith, faith of the most out without effect? Because you still got a lot of so called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right, still uh, uh, still making uh, dumb arguments, man. You see, uh, uh, I just watched a brother's uh, video, all right, pretty much. Jake's still going on about this Mamza bullshit, man. Here it is, you got all this stuff going on, you know, all this prophecy going on around the world. Instead of finding out what should I do to repent, all right, Jake talking about some damn mamzer, man. You see, Jake still arguing about whether the Old Testament is part of the, uh, you know, uh, Salakia, the New Testament is part of the Word of the Most High, man. You see, niggas like that ain't gonna make it, man. All right, and they got serious judgment coming. All right, um, verse four says, "The Most High forbid, yeah, let let the Most High be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified." And thy sins and might overcome when thou art judged. Because at the end of the day, you know, the words that we're speaking from this book is what's going to happen, man. All right, regardless if anybody believes, whether they for hear or forbear, man. All right? And if they hear, then good. Call all your by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. They have a chance at being uh, uh, delivered. But, you know, if they don't hear and they, you know, mock, scoff, they got serious judgment, you know, uh, coming from them, man. Because they didn't believe in the word of the Heavenly Father. And the Lord takes great offense for that. But without that, you know, no, with that, with that being said, man. I'm going to get to the uh, get into the the lesson real quick, um, and pretty much what it is is that, all right, this place is out of here, man. You know, let me get that real quick. This is, Salakia. Like, uh, this is Isaiah 47, in verse um, Salakia. So like, uh, I gotta go out to uh, to where I left off at. Isaiah 47. In verse 8 and it says therefore hear now this and this is talking about Babylon the Great when you read the um the first uh, verse of this chapter it's talking about the virgin daughter of Babylon so we're gonna jump down to the eighth verse they say therefore hear now this thou thou art given to pleasures that dwellest care carelessly that says in thine heart I am and none else beside me I shall not sit as a widow Neither shall I know the loss of children. And you know, this is uh this is how the elite of Edom of Edom thinks, man. They think that you no know, that they, they are like they're the most high, they're the, they're the power, man. You know? But going down to a lower level, these people out here, you know, in the midst of Babylon, they are, uh, you know, they don't believe, you know, so to speak, in the higher power. They don't believe in the most high. Or the, the the true living God. Alright? That's why, you know, that's why they uh serve these different idols in the midst of Babylon. You see, that's why they think they can do all these. They, that, that's why through the midst of all these things going on, all right, and, and when I see these people, you know, mainly our people, so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, they should be in, inquiring, or, you know, what's going on, all right, from the men of the Lord out there on the highways and byways, what they do, all right, they hope and pray for this place uh, 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 to continue, man. You see, but these two things shall come to thee in a moment, and one day the loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection.
for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. All right, because America, all right, is being exposed for their, um, you know, their uh, witchcraft, man, their wickedness. All right, the elites of this society, all right, got heavy enchantments on the people, man. All right. And one of these enchantments, you know, is it, it, just media, man. All right. So-called news media. All right. You know, uh, how, how Esau get these people uh, uh, dancing to his tune, man, so to speak. You see? And, and that's one of the main reasons, you know, why uh, they got in their heads that our America's going to come back to normal if you take this, uh, this juice, which is not going to happen, man. But a lot of people don't take that juice, all right, to continue their lives here, man. Well, it's all an illusion because... This place ain't going back to normal, man. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said in uh, Salakia. Let me read that again. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, None seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it have per perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. All right? And, and, and that's the mindset in here in America, man. I am. All right? That's why, uh, and, and, and again, you know, these people, you know, we're supposed to worship the, the creator, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. All right, but these people, all right, got it set in their minds. I ain't doing that. All right? I'm going to do what I want to do. All right? Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. <laughs> you see, so this is the destruction of America, man. All right, the Lord said, oh, hey, evil was coming upon her, man. All right, this golden city that you people uh, once knew is gone, and, and, and shortly you're about to see the judgment of it, man. Um, let me get that real quick. And um, I see uh, the 13th chapter. It says the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as a great people, the tumultuous noise of the, of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh of hosts muster the host of the battle. And it's talking about those thermonuclear missiles. All right, which is shortly going to come upon America, man shot by the beast you see because the beast is going to turn on the whore man like the book of revelation say verse 5 it say they come from a far country from the end of heaven even the lord yahweh by shim yahweh shot and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the, land, the whole land that's how we know this is talking about the nuclear missiles because it's telling you that they're going to come from a, a far land man all right and when you, and you read when you read in the book of second ezra ezra the 16th chapter it talks about arrows being shot from the ends of the world, man. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick to prove that. Second Ezra chapter sixteen, <clears throat> all the way to the uh, all the way to the bottom. If I can't, I can't remember uh, precisely where it was, but I know it's in fifteen or sixteen, where it says that the arrows will be shot from the ends of the world. Let me let me type it in real quick. Slack it. You should be able to get it when you put that word. Yeah, 16 and 13. I went right over it. But it says, um, verse uh, 16, uh, second Ezra 16 and verse 13, it says, For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. All right. So we know that arrows that, you know, people shoot from a, a, a bow and arrow can't shoot from one's end of the earth, you know, one end of the earth to another. It's talking about those nuclear missiles and those silos is that bow. You see, because those are what, what, what is going to shoot, you know, those missiles, all right, to America, man. You see? So when you go back to Isaiah chapter 13 and verse um, 5, it says, They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. How are ye for the day of the Lord? Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. So you people think that you saw something. All right, when they see one nine thing hit, all right, you all you you, you hear these uh, deaths going on, uh, so on and so forth. You ain't seen nothing yet, man. You you about to see real death going before the real destruction of America, Babylon the Great. All right, you about to see people die of famine. All right, you about to see people. <clears throat> Salakia. You're about to see people die, you know, getting torn up by wild beasts. All, right, all this is getting ready to happen in the midst of America, a land, the land where you never thought it would happen, man. Well, it's coming. And at the end of the day, you know, her destruction is set to happen. It's written to happen, man. You see? 
that's why it would behoove us to you know uh, uh you know to arise and depart from this land spiritually man that the lord tells us in Micah 2 and 10 revelation 18 and 20 it says rejoice over her thou heaven and ye holy apostles and prophets for the most high have avenged you on her why because the prophets are back here today or you know pro uh, prophesying against this place and the time is coming where you know persecution is going to come to the prophets you know the apostles that are uh, uh, prophesying against her man you see that's why you know the lord is going to have to avenge our the men of the lord on her man 21 and a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea saying thus with violence shall that great city babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all all right the angel's gonna cast these uh thermonuclear missiles uh, uh, at babylon the great at america man you see you can't you can't see all these things happening and still be saying no america is not babylon america will not be destroyed all right you gotta be a bugged out individual to think you know all this wickedness going on in the midst of this place ain't going to be dealt with, man. You see? Verse 22, it says, And the voice of harpers and musicians and of pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all. And thee, no craftsman of whatsoever craft he be, shall be found any more in the shall be, shall be found any more in thee. And the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee. So pretty much all activity are, is going to be cut off in America, man. Because when you, when you continue to read um, the book of Isaiah, the 13th chapter, it tells you how nobody's going to dwell in, the, in this place once it's burned up. But doleful creatures going to live here, man. You know? Which I love bringing out how, how that, you know... Because when you look at this place right now, you see, you know, these buildings, you know, the, these, uh, you know, these trees and everything here in Babylon the Great. All this one day is going to become a desert wasteland, man. All right? And, and you got you to gotta, you gotta picture this, man. And, you know, not everybody, you know, uh, you know, can could picture things like that because, hey, ultimately, you know, you got to be given faith to see these things, man. Or to picture and to see these things means that you got to be given faith, you see. So at the end of the day, you know, you got to pray for faith from the Heavenly Father to see the destruction because that's pretty much the Lord opening your mind to these prophecies, man. You know, but that was pretty much it. I just want to bring that out and Lord willing, it was fun, you know, eventually this place is going to go down man all right her light is going to be put out you know and, and this is what you know we're hoping and waiting for from the lord man you know so i'm going to end it off by giving all praises to yahweh by hashem yahweh shah by hashem and double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone until next time i say shalom and above the ball